Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first video of mine that you've clicked on. As you can guess from what you're looking at here, today is the second video that I'm putting out on my channel about the new Gucci Gorgeous Flora collection. Yesterday I put up a video that was about this lipstick from the Gorgeous Flora collection. It's the shade They Met in Argentina and it is in the Rouge de Beauty Brilliant formula. So in that video I compared it and talked a little bit about my knowledge of this formula based on owning this shade in that formula and I also compared it to the Met in Argentina in the matte formula. If you're interested in the lipstick from this collection I will link that video up in the eye and you can go check that out. Today though we're going to discuss the eyeshadow palette and I actually thought the lipstick video would be the quicker video but I think actually in retrospect this will be the quicker video because I'm not going to be trying to dupe this palette within my collection. I am just going to be showing it to you and then giving you a quick comparison to the original palette. This is the box that it comes in. So Gucci eyeshadow palette, gorgeous flora. Basically the same as the original but obviously that was the floral palette. Both palettes have 9 grams of product and they both have the same number of shades. So this is the original one which is floral 01 and this is the newer one which is the gorgeous flora 02 so it kind of does suggest that with this being 01 and this being 02 that they do kind of lead on from one another however it is my understanding from what Gucci have said at the moment that this collection is limited edition the one that the gorgeous flora palette comes from and this is permanent at the moment. I ordered my palette directly from the Gucci website so I did get this little pouch to keep it in and then onto the packaging of the actual palette. Similarly to the original, the palette comes in this little velvet pouch. The only thing I would say, depends if it really bothers you or not, I would say the new velvet pouch for the new palette is a bit thinner. So you can see there it's kind of a bit see-through. This is the original pouch, looks a little bit darker as well. I wasn't sure at first if that was actually just that I've had this longer, so it's obviously it will have picked up dust, etc. But if I put the new palette in in the old um, sleeve, you can see it's not quite see-through. So the older one does seem to have been a little bit thicker as well as being a slight, slight colour difference. As you can obviously see, mine has lived in the pouch within the box, but it's whether you're even going to keep the pouch. I know a lot of people don't bother with them, so even though I do keep mine, it's not a corner being cut that particularly bothers me if I'm totally honest. This is the two palettes next to each other. They're both super, super beautiful. I mean, there's really no two ways about it in terms of the packaging. Absolutely stunning. So in terms of the two palettes, they're the exact same dimensions, same thickness, and like with the original palette, the second palette does have a removable tray. So you can take the eyeshadows out and they do fit into each other. I can take the eyeshadows from the first one, put them into the second palette and vice versa no problems at all. At the moment Gucci only have the palettes with the eyeshadows in but the website does say that refillable trays of just the eyeshadows will be available soon. I bought this in Manchester in November last year and the man on the counter at that point told me he thought the next lot of eyeshadows were coming in February this year. This is now the first release that we've had from Gucci in terms of eyeshadow palettes this year and it is August 2022 at the time of filming this. There's maybe been some kind of delay behind the scenes or maybe something was started and abandoned for whatever reason but it is my understanding from speaking to the sales assistants that Gucci will start to release just the refills at some point but I think there's possibly been a bit of a delay on that. I know from the industry that I work in we've got both Brexit and Covid delays affecting us so it may well be um, probably not so much Brexit but possibly Covid manufacturing everything is still being affected by that so very possibly that's what's going on there. I do have to say overall I do think when you make your packaging this beautiful it is great that it's refillable um, you know especially when it's so expensive as well as being so beautiful I think it does make for less waste etc however I do take it with a slight pinch of salt because I think so many of the brands right now that yes they do refillable things and my beloved Guerlain Rouge G lipsticks come into this as well um, but when you make the packaging so collectible and so beautiful 
I don't know how many people really are going to opt to only buy the refills, especially releasing the likes of this, it's limited edition, kind of makes these collector's items. So I am a little bit cynical about the sort of refillable packaging, but if it's all going to release that all the trays will be available, then it would mean if you did pan this palette, for example, you could just buy these eyeshadows again. So I do think overall, it's a good thing. Packaging aside, let's get into the actual shadows. And this is what this palette looks like. So it's, fair, it's overall quite cool toned, I would say. Um, very, very pretty, very, very neutral. Um, other than this kind of bright purple and this bright turquoise, I do think most of the shades are very, very wearable. And then for comparison purposes, here is the original palette. So I would say both palettes are overall quite neutral. I think they've been designed to work well together. Um, so I think like you've got the matte blue here and then you've got more of this sort of shiny, sort of icy, turquoisey blue here. Um, I do think they, are, they have been designed with one another in mind. I don't think there's any exact dupes, however, I would say you've sort of got these two purples here and then you've got these two purples here and I was speaking to my friend Lauren about it and she was like, it's a bit two-faced, isn't it? Putting the purple and everything because two-faced as a brand are quite known for putting a random pop of purple in. So I feel like we maybe didn't quite need four purples across the palettes. I feel like with the nudes, like the browns in this seem cooler toned in comparison to these browns. But I feel like ultimately everyone can kind of go through the neutrals. Whereas I feel like the purple being the pop of colour in both is slightly disappointing. However, we may well find when I start swatching that they don't actually swatch anything like each other. So I am open to that being a possibility. Um, again, you've got your sort of pink here and pink here. So the tones are very, very similar. However, I don't think there's any exact dupes on first looking at the two, but let's get into swatching the gorgeous florals eyeshadow palette. If this video seems really stilted by the way, I am very sorry, my neighbour is drilling outside so I keep kind of getting started and then having to stop. Um, but yeah, let's get into swatching. So I'll just do it in order of the shadows. That is that top row. So I feel like it looks really quite cohesive so far, like particularly at this end. Oh, that's so soft, that mat. So those are the swatches of the new Gucci Beauty Gorgeous Flora palette. So they're all just one rubbed in. I've like obviously kind of like swatched them down, but they're all just one press into the palette. Um, so I think what I'll do is just quickly go over and do like a second swatch over the top just to see how they build. So that is all of the shades gone over a second time. Um, so I really did feel that the satins particularly sort of intensified there. So the satins are the silver one, the amethyst one, and then this one at the end. Then the metallic shades are the turquoise, the purple, and the orange. I'm sorry, there's now drilling happening outside, so I'm hoping if I just speak really loudly that you won't hear it. I think I would have quite liked this one to have had a little bit more to it. I did think it was really, really pretty in the pan and I feel like it's a bit more sheer than I sort of wanted it to be, but, but I'd say that's the only shade that I'm a little disappointed by. I think I'm really pleased with the rest of them. Let's have a look at the original palette. I think what I'll do is I'll pick out shades that I thought are maybe in the pan or whatever look similar and swatch them next to the corresponding shades that are on my arm from the second palette. Um, so first of all, I feel like, so first of all, I feel like, as I said, the purple, I just kind of felt like having two purples was 
a little bit much. Um, but they are very much different purples if you, you look at them as expected. And then I've also got this one here in this palette, which is possibly more aubergine. But again, if you look at it, actually very, very different. So I feel like possibly for my personal colour taste, I could have been doing without quite so many purples. But if you love purples, you're certainly, you're certainly covered and they're not direct dupes between the palettes. The other slight concern that, that sort of jumped out at me was from the original palette here, this silver shade, but I know it's much more of a grey silver versus the sort of bluey silver of this one. So you can see there is a definite, definite difference. Again, I feel like it, they're definitely different, but I feel like the fact that there's silvers in both, even if they're different silvers, and a lot of purples in both, even if they're all sort of different purples, is slightly disappointing. If I was making my dream palette, as I think regular viewers of my channel will know, it would have been green. And that is my personal preference, but I would have also just liked to have seen a completely different kind of colour story. However, I do think the colour stories in both are very, very wearable. Um, and I think with luxury makeup, you do want it to be very wearable for a large number of people. But I do think green is kind of the perfect colour that it's colour, but it can still be quite neutral and quite easy to wear. And I feel like I'm really, really hoping that their next eyeshadow release will have a bit more variation and preferably be in the green direction rather than the blues and the purples. So I think what I'll do, I've cleaned off both my arms, is I'll actually just re-swatch one palette up here and the other palette here. So let's do the original palette on this arm since we've already kind of seen the other one. So I'm doing the bottom row first. is the bottom row of the original palette and then let's go along the top row. I would say actually as I'm doing this I've never felt that this palette is not pigmented. Definitely had colour that I've been quite happy with but I feel like maybe the new palette seems more pigmented and I don't think that that's that um, you know these have gone off or anything like it's, it's less than a year old um, but I think maybe this is a softer palette overall. that is the original palette swatched and then I'll just really quickly re-swatch this before I show you them side by side. I do have to say those metallic formulas they feel so like pleasing like they're almost sort of wet feeling um, in like a good sort of squidgy pleasing way. So that is the second palette swatch there. So there you can see the two palettes swatched side by side. Now I would say, yep, I think the second one is maybe slightly brighter and the first one's maybe more traditionally neutral. You know, you've got the silver in the first one really, really stands out, I think. Um, although there's other shimmers, I feel like the fact they've got the three metallics in the new one just makes it seem a lot brighter. Uh, I would say that actually the, the sort of pink matte in both is the closest to a kind of proper dupe. Um, then you've got your sort of slightly warmer matte in both, but again I wouldn't say I wouldn't say they're proper dupes. Um, and then if you look at your browns there, you know the the browns kind of go together but none of them are exact matches. So overall I don't think there's actually any dupes, however I do think they probably work quite well together and I think although that in a way is a plus point, I think for me I would have liked to have seen a completely kind of different take. First one is slightly warmer overall and I think maybe slightly more neutral whereas I think the second one, I, w I don't really want to say more colourful because I feel like it's still not a colourful palette and I feel like if you were looking for a super colourful palette, neither of these will tick your box. But 
I do think there's maybe a bit more playfulness about the second one is perhaps the right way to say it. I do think you can own both but I think you would have to be owning both because you want to be a collector of beautiful makeup items and they are beautiful you know those palettes are absolutely stunning but I think it would need to be about wanting to own the palettes rather than wanting to own both eyeshadow stories because I don't think they're really although they're different I don't think they're different enough I don't regret buying the two um, I wouldn't have got the second one if I hadn't had birthday money so it just kind of worked out timing wise with it being released and I had that money and I love the palette so I don't remotely regret it but I am somebody who probably wants quite neutral looks and um, you know I feel like I'm probably not going to use this blue very much but covering that I feel like I will probably use every other shade in this palette but at the same time I didn't need every other shade in this palette because I've got this palette and I would probably get very similar looks overall from it although I would say that this peach here and this peachy matte shade here are the only two sort of direct dupes I would say. I just want to bring you up to look at these in sort of direct light rather than the light coming down. This is the light kind of coming directly onto it. So this is the newer palette and this is the original palette which I would say the silver really really stands out for how shiny it is but you can see overall it's just a more sort of muted palette in general. And there they are again side by side so yeah I feel like I'm not going to sit and try and do this within my collection. The whole point in this video was just to be really quick give you an overview of the two palettes. Those are the swatches. I hope it's been helpful if you were considering either palette or both palettes and thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!